Hi there, Shabana. I'm happy to see that you've uh, begun the course and that you're writing essays. So great work. Let's take a look at what you have written here in your first set of essays. I know that you had a concern. I saw something you wrote in your email, so we'll address that as well, okay? Let's uh, start with your essay, though. Um, this is about schools and whether they should be more entertaining or not. So let's see what you wrote. Finding a school that caters to various needs of a child is becoming increasingly popular. This is largely because providing an integrated model of teaching with extracurricular activities is in demand. This essay will discuss both views using examples from recent surveys and studies to demonstrate points and support arguments. Okay, here's the good news. The good news is that the language you've used is really lovely. It feels very natural. It feels like a nice high level. It shows like a certain comfort with English that's really very nice to see. Um, however, there are a couple of problems with this introduction that we'll talk about right away. First of all, you told us here that you will discuss both views, but you didn't tell us what both those views are. All right, you have to write your introduction. It has to re phrase the prompt so you can't assume that we know that we have the prompt in front of us and that you know we realize what you're responding to you have to address both the issues in your introduction you said that you'll discuss both of them but according to what you've written so far there are no two issues there's just one that they need to be more um integrated models of teaching and so forth okay so you haven't made it clear to the reader what this dilemma what this conflict um or this debate is okay that's the first thing the second thing is is that they ask you here which do you agree with and you didn't answer that question okay it's really important to answer the question as early as your introduction because if you look at the band descriptors for task achievement under band 7 it says that um, your essay needs to present a clear position throughout this response the position is your answer to whatever the question they have asked you is and throughout means from the beginning to the end so make it clear as early as your introduction in order to put yourself in the right path for a band seven and higher okay so uh those are the two things about that now let's move on to your body paragraphs firstly it is important to have a school that not only provides education but also promotes non-educational activities like sports arts drama and music an integrated model would bring the best out in a child by reducing the stress related to studies, thereby increasing their performance levels. For instance, a recent survey conducted by the University of Finland found that students who participated in sports scored above average. Therefore, including after-school interests as a part of a school curriculum is vital for a child's personal development. Okay, let's move on. On the other hand, there are some parents who send their children to school with a the, not a, the sole purpose of getting them educated. The proponents of such thinking consider that activities like dance and music, mm, not that, okay, they consider activities like dance and music a waste of time without a comma and without that. They do not, we don't write contractions in IELTS, so it's, they do not understand the amount of anxiety they place on their child. For example, American Association of Child Psycho Clinical Psychology, sorry, stated that about 80% of suicide committed by adolescents were, without the H, you wrote where, due to parental pressure, get rid of the. Therefore, it is important to spend some time in exploring entertaining activities of individual interest to cope with surmounting external stressors. Okay, let's read your conclusion. To conclude from the examples and arguments presented, I strongly believe that a school must cater to educational needs as well as include extracurricular coaching as part of their curriculum. Okay. All right. Here's the great news. The great news is that this read really easily. It flowed so nicely. It was a, it was a pleasure to read. All right. Because your English is clearly at a really, really nice high level where you're writing very naturally um, with, you know, fluency and flow and all that is really well done. Um, that said, I did find a problem in your, uh, body paragraphs regarding task achievement again. Okay. So let's talk about what it is. Let's look at the, uh, question that you were asked. It says, some people think school has to be more entertaining. Other people think that schools just need to educate. Let's talk about this key word here, entertaining. What does entertaining mean? Think about the word entertainment. And ask yourself some synonyms. Ask yourself what kind of words come up when you think about entertainment. You think about laughter, enjoyment, fun, uh, amusement, kind of lightheartedness. All right. Think about the things that entertain us, the things that we watch, the things that, um, that we do, that we find entertaining. 
okay? And think about how those things pertain to the classroom. You talked a lot about extracurricular activities like sports, art, and drama, but I would argue that those are not always entertaining. In fact, if you're into really competitive sport, it's not entertaining. It's actually, it could be exhilarating. It could be exciting, but maybe not entertaining for the person who's actually doing it. The same could apply to, say, for example, music. Okay, if you're um, if you're playing in a in a in a band or an orchestra or something, um, you know, and you have to practice many hours, you may um, find that very fulfilling, but it's not always entertaining, not in the way that is meant here. Okay, so what I'm trying to say is that these extracurricular activities we cannot assume that they are synonymous with entertainment. Okay, you have entertainment has a very specific meaning. Okay, and I, one of the ways IELTS is testing your vocabulary is is by using words like this and seeing if you've really understood how we mean entertainment. Okay, um, now having said all of this, I don't want to discourage you because I actually think that your essay was lovely. Really, I thought it was great for a first essay, and these problems with task achievement are probably not only the most common, but they're also the easiest to overcome. Um, it really is just a matter of really sitting and analyzing the question, making sure that you have not misunderstood and that you've planned out your essay and that you've, you know, come up with ideas before you actually begin to write. So I'm glad that we're addressing this now with your first set of essays, because I really think uh, based on your writing that you, um, you could do really, really well. But let's work on this task achievement and making sure we absolutely understand the question and how we have to answer it. Okay. All righty. So now I want to move on to the second essay, doing an enjoyable activity. Here you have to talk about skills and creativity. So let's see what you said. Okay. Parents today are finding it increasingly challenging to explore activities for their children. This is largely because of the absence of one particular activity that can help overall creative skills. This essay will discuss both views using examples from recent research singular and service to demonstrate points and support arguments okay it's the same thing with the previous essay i don't think that you did um really a very accurate job of rephrasing the task okay what does this mean they're finding it challenging to explore activities for their children the absence of one particular activity and you just talked about creative skills here so this for me needed uh definitely some changes okay um you could have said something more along the lines let me just try to give you some ideas here um parents today are um exploring different ways to help their children develop into um more well-rounded people um while some parents believe that reading is uh an activity that promotes uh, both skills and creativity. Other parents are convinced that uh, different activities uh, promote these skills and develop these skills far better. Um, I am personally inclined to believe that whatever X uh, develops children's skills better. And um, I will discuss both views using examples, etc., etc., etc. Okay, just to give you an idea about how you should rephrase this. You have to be a lot more faithful to, to the prompt and to, um, you know, rephrasing it more accurately. Let's move on. And again, right, you didn't say which you agreed with. So let's move on. Firstly, there are some parents who believe that leisure activities like swimming, treasure hunting, and playing instruments are good for their children. This is primarily because uh, it improves, we don't call it finger dexterity, we call it... Um, fine motor skills, okay, um, and coordination skills. Take, for example, a recent study conducted by the Department of Early Childhood Development in North Dakota. I would have capitalized childhood and development. Um, hold on a second. Take, for example, no. Get rid of take and then start with for example. So listen to how it sounds. For example, a recent study conducted by the Department of Early Childhood Development in North, Carol in North Dakota stated that children under the age of 10 who played piano had better motor skills. Therefore, it is critical to introduce such tasks in a child's routine. Okay, so uh, piano helps you develop motor skills. Fine. Secondly, few parents are of the opinion that reading is equally important. 
This is due to the fact that while this process does not involve any physical movement, it majorly aids in enhancing one's linguistic ability. I don't like this majorly aids, okay? It substantially, uh, or it substantially helps, or it, I, I don't know. This is just, it just reads rather awkwardly, okay? Another factor to be considered is uh, the development of listening skills with an S. For example, uh, for, for instance, the government of British Columbia in a recent survey found that young ones who had parents read them a book before bedtime every day had better vocabulary. Therefore, reading books right from infancy is highly recommended. All right. Um, now, you said here few parents. That means almost no parents. Is that what you meant? This kind of confused me because I thought this paragraph was about why reading is important and why it's good for us. So that confused me. Let's assume here you meant a few parents. Um, and then I don't understand this. You say it doesn't involve any physical movement. So why is that a positive thing? That That's confusing to me. You say it, may, it aids in linguistic ability. And then you said it also helps with listening. Um, so, okay. Um, but yeah, the beginning we said few, that confused me. So here you're saying that, you know what, reading is great, it helps, it does X, Y, Z. Um, here you were talking about fine motor skills and so forth. Let's read your conclusion and then we'll talk a little bit more. To conclude from the examples and arguments presented, I strongly believe that both leisure activities and reading books are equally beneficial for promoting creative capabilities in a growing child. In the future, a combination of all the tasks will be treated equivalently. Okay, equally would have been a better word here. Um, that's fine. Now, let me tell you where, um, this was good, okay? It did have some issues that we've already addressed, so you should be familiar with what they are. But there's another issue that I want to talk about now, which again comes from reading the task really carefully. Look at it again. Better skills and more creativity. This is what they want you to talk about in comparison to reading. So basically, you have to talk about um, an activity and or activities, plural, and how they help develop skills, but also how they help develop creativity. You decided to talk about reading too, so you should also talk about how reading helps develop skills and creativity. Okay? Now, what did you do? Um, you mentioned creativity in here, your uh, in your introduction. Here in your paragraph, you didn't mention anywhere. You didn't develop it at all. You just talked about fine motor skills. Here, you talked about linguistic ability and listening. So there was nothing about creativity here as well. And then you just kind of threw in the word here, creative capabilities. So while you mentioned the word creativity, you never actually developed it. And so that's, um, that's a problem. That's something that absolutely needs to be um, corrected here. Because look, they could have just ignored creativity and just talked about skills, okay? And then, you know, you could have just assumed, well, yeah, maybe creativity is a skill and it's just whatever. But they actually separated creativity from the other skills, which means that they absolutely want you to address it separately and on its own. All right? So this is the kind of attention I need you to pay to the tasks to make sure that, you know, you're not missing anything and that you're addressing all the elements that need to be addressed. Okay? So it's a good first set. I'm really happy with the way you're writing. Like I said, these issues with task achievement, they are, in my opinion, some of the easiest to overcome. So I don't want you to feel disheartened about it. It's a great first set of essays. So let's talk about what your next steps are. The first step is to correct these essays based on the suggestions in this video. Secondly, prepare a, um, an error correction list where you write the mistakes and next to the mistake, um, what the correct version is. That's for you to learn from so you can see consistently like what kind of mistakes you're making so that you can be aware of them and try avoiding them in the future. Uh, just add to that with every essay you get back from us. And then, of course, we need another set of essays from you. So try to get all of this done within the next day or so, and we'll meet back here with your next set of essays. Okay, good luck to you.